Sheki is an ancient Silk Road city of 68,000 in northwestern Azerbaijan. It is well known for its various handicrafts. In 2017, it was included in the UNESCO Creative Cities Network for its crafts and folk art. Let's take a walk along the main street of Sheki, where we will meet local artisans. Sheki is famous for its confections. One of them is a certain type of halva named after the city. Halva is made with a batter of rice flour and water, which is drizzled onto a pan like lace. Then eight layers of this lacy net are stacked together. The halva maker sprinkles sugar, ground hazelnuts or walnuts, and cloves between each layer and presses them together. Finally, the halva is doused in sugary syrup and baked. Sheki receives many tourists, so the same street is also home to antique dealers specializing in local wares like carpets and copper dishes. Ayaz is a local musician who has been running a music shop for 30 years. He performs on many instruments. Another craft unique to Sheki is a form of embroidery called tekelduz. Tekelduz sözün mənası yəni təkəlindən düz. Bu iş də dekorativ bir tikiş növüdür, ancaq Şəkiyə məxsusdur bu iş. Burada ancaq təkəl burada iştirak edir. Əvvəlcə məxmər parçanı götürüb, belə çərçivənin üzərinə çəkirik. Sonra ağ qələmlə üstünə hansı əsəri, hansı rəsmi istəsə çəkib. Sonra başlayırıq, ancaq burada ipək saplarından istifadə edirik, ipək saplardan. Deyək ki, bu sadə işdir. Bunu, misal üçün, 10 günə, 15 günə tamamlaya bilərəm. Amma elə iş də var ki, elə bir əsərim var ki, mən onu bir ilə tamam başa vurmuşam. It would be wrong to talk about Sheki without mentioning silk. Sheki, once on the Silk Road, is still well known for its silk products. We took a detour to the Sheki Silk Factory, which still functions across town from the artisan's street. There we met Mela Het, who enchanted us with the colors and textures in her shop. The main silk products sold here are carpets and Kelagaya headscarves, which are dyed by applying layers of wax in national patterns. Now we continue walking up the artisan's street. The next stop is to see another trade that has long been practiced in Sheki, hat making. Papakçılıq sanatı mağam, atababa sanatım olur. 25 ildir bu sanat deyəm, rahmet mağam, atam da, babam da papakçı olur. Bu var bizim milli bu yanı, bu var bizim Azərbaycan milli papağıdır. O vaxt bəylər örtüdü, yana indi də Azərbaycan xalqı örtüdü. Məsələn, bu papaqlar belə din adamları da örtüdü, ziyalıları örtüdü. Məsələn, bu papaqlara o vaxt dürya papaq deyidilər, bu rəqqaslar da örtüdü. Sonra hiss olur bu papaq. Bu papaqlar yayda səhərin olur, qışda hiss də. Uphill from the artisan shops is the historic Xan Saray. It is arguably the most spectacular example of pre-Zarist architecture remaining in Azerbaijan. The Khan Sarai was built in 1797. It was a summer palace for the Khans of Sheki. Its facade features intricate Shebeke work. Conveniently, Sheki's Shebeke masters are located right next door within the palace grounds. Let's go to their workshop and learn about this craft from the masters. Belə xırda xırda taxta parçalardır. Hamçı var, belə yığılma üsulu ilə indi. 
Yani burada o havuçlara falan tokunursa, bu da tokunur. Back at the Khansarai, resident historian Tarana Abdullayeva introduces us to a lighter side of Sheki. Sheki'nin yumur ustaları e, Hacı dayı, mesela deyiri, Hacı İlyas adında olur. O, çox bəmmezi insan olduğuna göre, hem de defelerle hacca getdiyine göre ona Hacı dayı deyirler. Yani Hacı dayı e, müeyyen məclislerin yaraşığı olur. Həmin o yumoristik e, demək, latifeler günümüzü kimi gəlib çatıb. Sheki is known for its anecdotes. We asked several Sheki residents to tell us their jokes. Sheki'nin məşhur Hacı babası diş həkimişliyir. Bir nəfər gəlir, qonaq deyir, mənim dişim ağrıyır, çıxırsa bilərsiniz, deyib, pul versən, gözü da çıxardaram. <laughs> Bəs. <laughs> Çox sağ ol. And that's Sheki, from top to bottom. <laughs>